Last two days, Visalia firefighters have had to put out multiple house fires. The latest one sparked last night. Visalia Fire says it likely started in the garage of a home and then spread to another. One person was airlifted to CRMC in Fresno after being treated at Korea Delta Medical Center. Our Dennis Valera is live outside CRMC tonight. Dennis, how's that victim doing? Shauna, Visalia Fire couldn't give us an update tonight. Now, we did see the family of the victim taken here when we were at those homes earlier. Understandably, they just want their privacy at this time. Now, for Visalia firefighters, it's been back to back dealing with fires where multiple homes are involved. That means the American Red Cross has also been busy helping out as well. The damage of Saturday's multi-home fire clear as day this afternoon. Visalia Fire says it started at 8.30 p.m. and caused over $750,000 worth in damage. Just the day before, nearly three and a half miles east, a fire ravaged two homes. The Central California branch of the American Red Cross says summer is always a prime time for home fires. During the summer months, we tend to see, you know, more folks co cooking outdoors, right? So maybe um, some grilling safety issues that have happened or you have electrical systems in your home that are under higher stress because of the heat. Red Cross spokeswoman Nicole Mall says so far this month, they've helped out 16 families who've been displaced by fires on top of their wildfire response. Of course, how they help impacted by COVID-19. Might look a little bit different, a lot more over the phone, some FaceTime, um, not as much social interaction. Um, but yeah, we've still been helping out a lot of families and one home loss is just too much. Tulare County is one of the areas Red Cross volunteers are sorely needed. In preparation for this year's fire season, Mall says they are pushing to recruit 200 volunteers. She adds they've made it even easier to do. If you wanted to work in a shelter, but you're also a working professional, we are so much more flexible with that. Um, you know, even if you're a parent and you have kids, we're flexible with that too. Now, there is a virtual volunteer fair happening for the Red Cross this Wednesday, July 22nd. For more info on how to attend that, check this story out online at yourcentralvalley.com. Live here in downtown Fresno, Dennis Valera, KC24, Local News That Matters.